If you haven't already checked out my Assassin's Creed 1 Let's Play, started yesterday and it will be uploaded every single day alongside other videos at, at around probably 7pm uh, UK time. It might be different because I did put up a poll on Twitter asking people, but if you haven't already checked out episode 1, it went up yesterday. I will leave a link to that in the description so you guys can go and check that out because that should be super fun playing through the whole of Assassin's Creed 1, getting ready for the Ezio collection. But anyway... <laughs> Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another video about Assassin's Creed and a lot of people have been talking about the modern day since the last video I made on the modern day, talking about Desmond in the comment section and like, oh, how can Desmond come back, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, and I wanted to give a little insight into that and kind of talk about like, you know, the facts that are there and also bring up some of the theories you guys have been talking about and some that I have myself, do with Desmond and what happened to him and etc, etc, so spoilers ahead for the ending of Assassin's Creed 3 and onwards and just all the modern day, obviously there's spoilers here, if you haven't played, you know, Assassin's Creed 3, 4, then, and maybe Syndicate as well, just, I'm just, just a spoiler warning, because I will be talking about all things modern day, so if you are worried about possible spoilers, just click off the video, come back when you're, when you're ready and you've played all the games, but without further ado, let's hop into my Desmond discussion theories thing, that was, uh, would have been a better title if I wasn't a retard. <laughs> So we saw Desmond Miles die at the end of Assassin's Creed 3. He touched the pedestal to save the world because his DNA somehow links with it. I don't know, maybe I'll do a quick lore on it because I don't fucking understand. Essentially, that's what happened. He saved the world and he then died. His body was lost forever. Now, there's multiple possibilities for what could have happened. You know, his body was still there, so they could have used the ankh or possibly used it used parts like something to do with the shroud to enhance the powers of the pieces of being or whatever you know they could have used pieces of being together to bring desmond back the, the thing is there's been several points in assassin's creed where they've referenced desmond's body being destroyed there's also a moment in assassin's Creed revelations where you know clay references his own body being destroyed and you would think the same would have happened to desmond when abstergo got their hands on him now they did keep him preserved for a little bit however they did dissect him and take out you know blood samples and his organs and they used pretty much every bit of Desmond's body they could in order to get the memories from his DNA that they could use to find pieces of Eden. Dr. Grammatica also references this in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, talking about Desmond's son or the sage that is related to Desmond. He says, I wish we could strip him for parts like we did Subject 17, meaning that Desmond is pretty much all but gone, at least his body anyways. Now, there's a couple of things people have been saying, oh, let's use the shroud to revive him, let's do that. Now, even if his body was here, the shroud only regenerates tissue and cells. It can't reconstruct life if you're dead it only repairs you if you're damaged in some way now it can restore life but only for a brief period with very bad side effects normally you get voices in your head it drives you insane and you end up dying uh, like you know a day or so later anyway so it's not really that useful now we do have the ankh which is used to resurrect the dead now this is something that some 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 assassins and templars in the modern day think is even a myth Otsoberg was talking about it and searching for it. You can find audio files talking about this in Assassin's Creed Rogue when you search the computers. And, you know, it's the Ankh would, be, would have been useful to resurrect Desmond. It can bring people back from the dead and reanimate corpses. That's literally what it does. And then you could use the Shroud in conjunction with that to fully bring Desmond back, assuming you also had his consciousness stored somewhere. Because if you just reanimate a corpse, you're not going to have his consciousness there. You're just going to have the body. Now, the thing is, you can't do any of this because Desmond's body is gone. Now, there's another thing that uh, entered my mind I thought about was at the end of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, you know, Dr. Grammatica is growing these bodies for, um, for Civ. Now, um, Violet DaCosta says, how is this going to help you make a clone? He goes on to say, we're not making clones, we're making a full new body for the first Civ. Now, that made me think, is it possible if you had a sample of Desmond's tissue, like his DNA, could you make a body clone of Desmond? But then again, you would probably need his consciousness because they're, they're making first of bodies and they're going to put Juno's mind into one of those bodies. So it works for Juno just because her mind is already in the grey or whatever you want to call it. And they can just take her mind and put that into one of the first of bodies that they're making. Now, 
with in the case of Desmond, if they could get him a new body, we don't know if his consciousness is still just you know anywhere. We don't we don't know if it's still people people saying you know it, it could be in the Animus or you know maybe it's still in the Grand Temple. I mean this is very possible, and I think regardless of what Ubisoft intended to do at the end of three, like if they do want him to stay dead or whatever, there is still a possibility they could always bring him back with the whole cloning thing, having his consciousness because. At the end of Revelations, Clay does say to Desmond when he grabs hold of him and Desmond's like, what are you doing? Clay says, I'm saving you. And obviously you could interpret that as saving him to the Animus. Like he is now part of the Animus, the same as Clay is, the same as Juno is. And even in Unity, there is a data that says uh, Desmond and Clay are in the Animus, essentially. In Assassin's Creed Unity, you can find the file within the game. And it says that in there. Uh, so it is very possible that Desmond's consciousness is still there. Now... In terms of bringing him back, I don't see it as something they're going to do. I mean, I would still be completely for it if they did it in a really cool way. Um, however, I don't I don't see it as something they're going to do. I feel like Desmond's son will be the thing that they'll go forward with. However, it could they could bring him back in some way. It is still very possible with all these various story points and loopholes that exist that they've created with the whole, you know, saving his consciousness, with being able to clone a body, being able to use the shroud and the ank. Like, even, even if it's just Desmond's consciousness, it's very possible that it could still be there, considering we've had these messages that say that Clay and Desmond are still within the Animus. Now, that would mean that, you know, Desmond's had all this time to work his consciousness within to you know, the Helix database and all that stuff, so he he can he can access it, he can talk to the people that are there, and it could play a very prominent role in the next Assassin's Creed modern day, very similarly to how Clay was a huge part of the Desmond saga, guiding Desmond. Desmond can possibly guide his son or guide another modern day protagonist from within the Animus. It could ultimately lead to the modern day Assassins trying to clone Desmond's body and then take his consciousness and put it into a body so he can come back to stop Juno or to guide his son or to lead the assassins. Who knows, but it is still very possible that Desmond could return. When people ask me, oh, do you think Desmond's coming back? I normally say no, no, it's, you know, his body was destroyed, it's just not happening. Because personally, I don't think it's something that they're going to do, but it's something they can do if they wanted to. There are very various ways that they can do it, and obviously I've explored all of them within this video. If you guys want to leave your theories and ideas down in the comment section below, that will be much appreciated let me know what you guys think about what i've talked about let me know what you guys think might happen or how they could do it if there's anything i've missed out be sure to leave it in the comments because it's very possible that i always leave stuff out of these videos i do try my best to get everything in, but it's very possible that i could leave some key details out that i might have overlooked uh, but those are the few ones that i could think about that could you know result in desmond possibly returning in a future assassin's creed game whether it be in full form or just as a consciousness so thank you guys for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed, if you did be sure to smack that like button because it would be absolutely amazing, subscribe if you haven't already for the newest Assassin's Creed content and other stuff on this channel, as I said before comment down in the comment section below, that's it for this video and I'll see you all in the next one, bye! But if we turn and fly, does it almost feel like we will never fall? And if we unite, we can take this fight straight to the castle wall.